After countless hours of hard work and dedication, I finally landed a contract as a freelancer six months ago. And it's been an incredible journey. That's why in this video, I want to share my story with you, hoping to inspire those of you who are just starting their own development journey and also help you avoid mistakes that I've made in the past. You know, I've always been someone with a wide range of passions such as football, medicine, architecture, and so much more. It felt like every year I wanted to become something new. I was a pretty good student, I was getting decent grades, and I never failed to impress my parents. And one of the reasons why I can learn something super quickly is because I've lived in different countries and I speak five languages such as French, Spanish, English, Wolof, and Catalan. Wow. <laughs> so learning something new has never been an issue for me. The issue for me was that I was lazy and not disciplined. So let's rewind a bit. Back in 2020, when the pandemic just started, I was in high school and I wanted to become an architect. That was my passion back then. But man, I was terrible at geometry. I was really bad, actually, really, really bad. That really bummed me out and I realized that architecture wasn't for me. So I was pretty lost. I didn't know what to do. I had no other passion. So I'm like, what do I do? So at that time, we had to choose three subjects to specialize in and get prepared for university. So we had to choose three. So I decided to choose math, physics, and computer science because I like computers. So why not try computer science? And these three were the hardest ones out of the 10 other subjects that we could specialize in. And the fun part, my whole friend group didn't know as well what to do. So they also did the computer science, math and physics as well. <laughs> so from March to September, there was the pandemic. So really nobody studying actually when Zoom calls. So I played Fortnite all the day and I was earning some, I earned $200. So at least it's something. But anything else, I was doing nothing else except playing. So the classes resumed in September and we jumped straight into Python and I was like, wow, what is this? I saw a for loop and I was like, oh my God, I'm screwed. <laughs> and also it was tough juggling between computer science, math and physics at the same time because they were the hardest thing. So, pff, wow, my God. Some of my friends dropped quickly computer science and went into economics or something else like that. And I said that I'm not leaving, I'm not quitting because I decided this challenge and I want to challenge myself to do all the hard stuff. So I said, I'm going to finish this course regardless if I fail or not, I don't care, I will try at least. And after months of struggling and getting not so good grades because I was a brilliant student, I was always getting good grades, so I was super overwhelmed back then. So I decided to take the Python course on Code Academy because I wanted to become the best. I'm always, always a competitive guy. And no matter what, whatever I'm doing and I like it, I'm always, I always want to stay at the top. Practice here and there, I got a little bit better, but I knew that I had a long way to go. So that's when I started to watch the day in the life videos and I was like, whoa, I really want to become a software engineer. So I began searching different software development fields and data science interested me a lot because it was Python and it was about data and all of that. So I'm like, Wow, why not that? Funny enough, weeks later, the motivation really dropped. I'm like, oh, I don't really like it. It's boring or something like that. You know what everyone says, coding is boring. Nah, 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 nah. So I treated programming just like another subject in school and just kept playing games and was not productive and all of that. And yeah, just nothing. It's a normal, normal subject. And the reason why it's because I had no goal. I didn't know what to become with coding. I was just thinking of, I was thinking of going to university, finishing the four years and then getting a job and all of that. So no goal. I didn't know what to do. I wasn't sure about data science and all of that. So, but summer 2021 came and I went to Spain. I was in Abu Dhabi back then, the United Arab Emirates. And I came back to Spain for vacation and to visit my brothers. So I had a chat with my brother and I told him that I don't want to become an architect, but I want to become a coder something like that and we had a long conversation and he told me like coding is really really good and i made a really smart choice because they pay well and you can find a lot of freelance jobs also you can build a multi-million app so it's just uh, there is a lot of a lot of, a lot of opportunities so i was really excited and i decided to take the cs50 course by hardware and that really was a game changing course it took me about three to four months to complete it's a really challenging course and you need to be super, 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 super disciplined. So after finishing this course, I decided to continue with mobile development and I was 
doubting between cross-platform or native. I mainly wanted to become a nice developer because I have, I have iPhones and all of that and I love and I like the iOS ecosystem but I didn't have a Mac back then so the only choice was Android native. I could have done cross-platform and improve on that but yeah. I said like, okay, let's go to native Android and that's it. And learning Kotlin was really easy for me because I knew a little bit of C, I don't even know anymore. I know a little bit of Python and a little bit of JavaScript. So picking up Kotlin will take me about two to four weeks and then jump into Android development. So in December, 2021, I started learning Android development. I started with some simple projects like a to-do list, expense tracker, or calculator, something like that. And I really enjoyed it because I was spending a lot of time on it, like four to six hours a day, sometimes with a week of break, but I was really, really working hard and I was really, really doing some cool stuff. I made a video about my project, so make sure to check it out. I think somewhere here or here. <laughs> and a few months later, I was confident on my Android skills, so I decided to give freelancing a shot. It took me about five to six months to get a client, but obviously I didn't have a good profile, good portfolio or proposals. So I needed to really, really do the things well in order to get them. That's why five months later I got it. So the biggest mistake I've done was that before starting to code and all of that, I had no goal, no purpose, and I didn't know what was coding up. And also I didn't make any research about coding. I had no idea. So if you're starting to code or you want to switch to something else, please make a research before just starting. And the thing is it takes time, practice and dedication in order to get wherever you want. You will fail a lot of times. You will fall, fall and fall, but you have to get up, get up, get up. And that's how you succeed. Some people might land jobs at Google in three to four months or something like that, Microsoft, Meta, and that's amazing. That's real. That's uh, not impossible, but you have to set clear expectations. I took it slow. I went at my own pace and the reward just came. The hard work just paid off. So it's patience, only patience. So keep going and you also will get there too. Peace.